Hey everyone, I'm Elian and I'm going to be teaching you the broom dance. I did a little bit of research and I found that both places claim it came from that. These are Cambridge and Cornwall. I'm going to post a little video here of what that looks like. It would be a little competition to see who could last the longest. If you want to watch the full video, there'll be a link in the description. I don't have a broom. What else could I use? Once a broom? No longer a broom. Uh, I've left that. A woggle? Whatever you do, do not use a rake. It's sharp. It's a garden broom. Also quite heavy, although I am going to use it for one move, which is sweeping, because it's the outdoor one. We've got an outdoor and indoor broom. I know, right? The inside broom. So ideally, if you've got a small broom, great. If you don't, any of those other suggestions are welcome. Now on to the dancing. I am going to be doing hop steps a lot. So a hop step is one of these. So slow down, that is step hop might be an easier way to see it. So you step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. And then you just make them faster after each other. So step, Most of them involve that kind of beating or hopping throughout the whole dance. Level one. Now this is making Picasso sounds with the broom. You could just sweep. Or you make you hit it with the back of the broom. Yeah. That sounds. So you could mix them up and try and come up with something cool. Or you can try and step hop and sweep at the same time, so you can travel with that. I can't because I don't have the immediate space to do it. Level two. This is the one I've already shown you in the competition, and this is how how you do it. You hold the handle quite light, you step over, and you pass it to the other. And so, if you want to do that, you're welcome. If you want to step it up a bit, put a hop in there. So going. change up a bit, go the other way, whoa, look at that, look at that, whoa. level three, dancing round the broom, so what I was doing there, I was doing the hops, round for eight counts and then a rant step for eight counts and now I'm going to show you how to do the rant step first they're standing still tap balance change weight balance tap balance change weight balance Balance, change weight, balance, tap, 
change rate. So for the beatings, this is how I'd do it. Tap to change four. Tap to change four. Tap to change four. Tap to change four. And now on each of those beats, you're going to be hopping. So it looks like this. Tap to change four. 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 much easier when it starts speeding up because you don't have to deal with the balance issue. Tap, two, three, four, tap, four, tap, 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 tap. Once you've mastered that, round of room. So, tap, two, three, four. Level four, broom under leg. So you're going to take the broom and you're going to put it on your leg. Grab it and put your foot down. Okay. Brussels under, yeah. And you just let the, the weight of the broom bring it around. Yeah. Be mindful not to do that. Five. Now this one's not technically traditional. I've seen some people do it. I call it sweeper arm. Never seen so before wipeout. And basically, you're making that, but you're going to jump over it. Or step over it. So it's like, oh, got my knee. So those are all the components that you can use to make up your dance. Your dance can either be done as a single jig or a double jig. If you do a single jig, just choose your favourites and dance those. If you do a double jig, grab a member of your household and teach them it and then have a little competition. You can either do upping it every single time or the tune has verses and choruses so in the chorus you can which comes second you can revisit the same move every time and then use the verses to show what you can do or you can just keep going through the levels the levels of dance move until you get to a winner just a little bit about the tune the tune is this one and it is a 30 do, 30, 30 do, 32 bar hornpipe. So 16 counts per verse and chorus. So whichever move you do, you can either do it for 16 counts or you can do it for eight and it will work as well. Um, so for example, it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it could be the other person, or you could continue doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two. So that's how you can do that. Now I'm going to move on to some extras to just spice it up a little bit. Extra one. This is getting the broom off the floor, picking it off the floor. Ballerina 
slash toddler. A little bit more classy. Put your toe underneath and catch it. Last way, this brew it has big angle, small angle. The move I'm about to show you, if you put it on the small angle side, you'll never get it up. Big angle side, you'll get it up. Go on the side and grab it. Oh, ow. Extra two is twiddling. So you can do the I'm twiddling my umbrella. That is a broom. Whoa. 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 Like that. Sound effect optional. Extra three is throwing it. Careful now. And throw a sack. Again, if you throw it too high, it will start coming down like this. So just be careful. If you throw it like this, whoo, if you're doing a double, whee. And the last way is Quidditch. Woo. And there's also br broom surfing. Oh yeah. And will I catch? dance i hope you enjoyed it be sure to check out all the other amazing workshops and activities we've got going on 